All right, some folks in Washington County, though, still recovering after those big storms rolled through the area on Sunday. Dangerous winds sent trees crashing into homes. Carmen Brown talked with one woman who says pictures don't really do it justice, and she also told Carmen why they're left with no choice but to start over. Imagine looking out the window thinking it's just rain. Angel Johnson says her and her husband were asleep Sunday night when the heavy wind and rain spooked her kids. When what she thought was normal rain turned out to be worse. Time to like gather them together, get the doll, and as we can, we was trying to look out the window, we remember like trees just coming inside of the house. Um, so we was running on the other side of the end of the house, and as we, we just still hearing trees just dropping, dropping, dropping. She says it was so loud outside, she couldn't hear her neighbor calling out to check on them as she and her family dashed for the car. It's one of the trees here. Johnson caught the storm on camera a few minutes before losing power. Even on the cameras, you can hear some of the loud sound effects that we did catch before losing the power. So we didn't even hear her, but she told us today that she did yell over here to make sure we was okay. The Johnson family moved into their house a little over a year ago. She says her husband just finished a lot of exterior work. That's the deck from the outside that we've seen what takes us to the pool. They just got their pool this summer. Now it's filled with debris. Just shocked. I mean, only being here a year, August the 4th, and I mean, to experience this on August the 19th, I mean, just shocked. Kind of felt like it, everything was just robbed from us, honestly. Johnson says she's still waiting on crews to assess the damage, but for now, they're staying with family nearby. Her kids, a little shaken up and homesick. They constantly talking about it. Like they, last night we was together and they was just wanting to know like, how are they, how, how's the house and how's their shoes and clothes and, you know, they just wanna just get back home, honestly. Despite the wait, Johnson is just happy no one was hurt. In Washington County, Carmen Brown, 13 WMAZ News. Uh, Washington County Emergency Services says households can prepare ahead of severe weather by having their insurance policy handy. Director Russell Reiner says when assessing damage, check for uprooted tree limbs on the verge of falling.